What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. Raisin Cane's best taken chicken fingers, the sauce is killer. I f was again doing the pickup, by the way, the Miami location for Raisin Cane's, if you call it in, it's like the most professional pickup organization. They give you the exact time, walk in, chicken fingers sitting there, still take grace. Uh, they cook to order, served hot, fresh, makes my mouth water just looking at them. Um, satisfy your Canes fix fast, ordering through their app or online at RaisinCanes.com. And like I said, if you're in the Miami area, it's new, it's on Collins Ave. I went in, parked the car on the street over. I was in and out in, I don't know, 11 seconds and it was very busy but they got the whole section aside with your number ready to go hot fresh so go get your raisin canes and they got specific miami merch raisin canes the best chicken fingers in the game um so check it out okay uh bffs let's go through the headlines we have special guests jersey shore later in the show um we have michaela Nogar. Nagoria, who was a guest on our show, um, I don't know, about a year ago or so, is under fire after posting a mascara brand deal for L'Oreal. The deal is in the video, Michaela starts off with her natural lashes and after a few cuts, but Michaela's lashes are so long and full that people are accusing her of putting on fake lashes because no mascara would be able to achieve her transformation. Um, I believe she also, then people are like saying she had a prior video where she basically said you could like cheat the system a little bit like this. Yeah. And yeah. So I knew that because Silvana was actually deep in this controversy. Um, I haven't seen the internet like go up in arms like this in so long. The whole internet is freaking the fuck out about this. So I watched it and I, maybe this is because I'm a guy. I just, I, I can't really. You couldn't tell. I, no. Um, I'm not an eyelash guy. Like the scar gets me going. I was into that. Eyelashes. I don't really give a fuck. What mm. do you think as a female breed? Do you think it's fake? Oh, yeah, for sure. Totally put false eyelashes on. You can like see the separation too. Like so 100%. Then what, is she like, this seems like a pretty big deal if you're doing what she does. Yeah, because she always says that she's very transparent and she doesn't lie about any of her makeup reviews. So she claims to be like very honest. And then this was like a deal. So she got paid to promote it. And like you said, she made a video prior, like probably a year ago, talking about how brands always lie and put falsies on and like, don't don't be deceived. And then she did the same thing. That's why would you do that? And then I guess Mads Lewis, who I was, it's just every topic we get Mads Lewis's take. Why don't we just have her be on the show? She can be yeah. part of this. Like, well, she's Mads been Lewis, getting into drama recently. Like anytime there's something going on, she's she's got an opinion on. it. Yeah, yeah she's yeah, popping in totally unrelated to like the subject. So in a now deleted TikTok, Mads Lewis came to Michaela's defense saying, so what if she's lying? Everyone lies a little bit on social media and other people would, too, if they were offered money. No, that's dead ass wrong. Yeah. So people were people are like more mad because they're directing all of the anger straight towards Michaela. But they're like the big brands lie every day on like TV commercials and hair products. So they're like, take it out on everyone, not just Michaela. I think that's kind of where Mads was going with it. Yeah. Yeah. I want to I want to side with Mads because she's, you know, my friend and everything. But I don't know if uh, that was the right take. Can I see the de now deleted TikTok? Yeah. Do we have the TikTok? Because it maybe it sounds like better. It. Sounds so. better in tone. Maybe it'll sound better in tone than just, you know, transcript. Why are you guys hating on somebody for lying? Granted, maybe she's lying, maybe she's not. So what? Even if she did put false eyelashes on, why does that matter? I know it's false advertising, but isn't everything false advertising? Isn't everything technically kind of lying? Just a little bit? You know, food I commercials aren't actual, like, all food products, right? Don't get me wrong, lying sucks, but everyone does it, especially when it comes to social media and especially when it comes to making money. Sorry, if somebody put $200,000 in your face and said, hey, promote my shitty mascara, I don't think you'd think twice about it. I don't, I don't know if I like no, that. That's thing. the dumbest TikTok I've ever seen. <laughs> that's some sass to it. That was crazy, but I, I really hope not everyone false advertises. Yeah, what she tells you, I don't think what she says is accurate. And like, 
So what if she's lying? What are you talking about, meds? Yeah, she, a, she also yeah. kind of just admitted to being a sellout. She's like, if anyone put $200,000 in your face, you'd do it too. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. And I don't agree with that. Like, yes, there's a lot of things like, I, would I go to Saudi Arabia for a lot of money? Yeah. Would I blatantly lie about a product and put, fa- no, that's yeah, like, no. I don't think a lot of people do that. No. Like oh, that's, no. I mean, maybe some if you're desperate, but she's not desperate, which makes it worse. She's like super successful. That, I almost don't like that Mads Lewis TikTok more than anything that she did. I know that was kind of a really bad take. Yeah. Mm. That, that's Absolutely. hence why it's deleted. But Michaela woke up the beast. She brought Jeffree Star back to social media, which is kind of awesome. So I'm kind of glad she lied about this mascara. Jeffree Star in reaction. I'll I'll be back to reviewing makeup products next week. These fucking bitches can't stop <laughs> lying to the audiences and it makes me sick. Okay. So Jeffree Ooh. Star back in it. Michaela has not commented outside of responding to comments under a video before the incident really blew up. And she's sticking with it's real. She hasn't said anything. So she was replying oh, to comments is. saying, um, you guys are proving my point. Like, I'm not I didn't put falsies on. And then it blew up and she hasn't said anything yet. So b- I would say her silence is deafening. Yes, for right? sure. Like if you if you didn't lie, you would be like, I'm not lying. And here you go. I'll do it again. Yeah. Make a rebuttal video showing yeah. my lashes. So you got caught lying in that. Seems for somebody like that, the only move is to come forward, admit you're lying, and promise never to do again and throw yourself at the mercy of the court. Yeah, I'm sure she'll come back with a dramatic crying video apologizing. Uh, Jeffree Star. And it is so anti her brand. She's that mass accent. I'm so on it. Yeah, tough. Um, I thought it was her eyebrows this whole time we were talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's Josh. what I'm saying. God, the, the, I, I don't. Like, Josh, I'm not going to, I won't bag on you for that. Like, eyelashes. There's nothing, as far as I know, that girls are more confused about what matters in their appearance than, like, eyelashes and eyebrows. No one gives a fuck. I thought we were saying she was putting fake little hair follicles (laughs) on her eyebrows to make them look more curvy. Like, the bottom one was more curvy than the top. That is fake, crazy, Josh, because look at the side-by-side picture. It's clearly the eyelashes. Like, are you a lash girl? Like, I didn't even know about about the lash. Yeah, I mean, I wear fake lashes, but, like, I'll say they're fake when I wear them. No, but, I mean, it's like, I I don't... Like, I just have... I don't have fake lashes on right now. I wouldn't wear them every day. These are so obviously fake lashes. Yes, see? Good job, Josh. That's crazy. I feel so brought in on the drama now. This is awesome. I, I was I, I, I was left out. I thought it was. So nobody can grow lashes like her. That right picture. That's just impossible. Mm. Well, what are you growing them overnight? Look at the first picture. Just look at like the fullness. Like see how there's like a top layer above the bottom layer. Like no one just has like three layers of eyelashes. Those are from the same video. So that was her like progressively putting on more and more and more. Yeah, yes. but it's like makeup, isn't it? Yeah, but you can't. You can't replicate you can't make fake lashes hair. with mascara. I just don't know why they care about the lashes. When I say they, the female race care about lashes at all. Female race. <laughs> well, 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 it's captivating. The eyes like the batting are a little at bit them? more captivating. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? You get a little breeze. You're like, oh. You yeah, wouldn't, if Silvana, if Silvana had no lashes, you would be able to tell there was a difference. You'd be like, you look different, but maybe you wouldn't be able to pinpoint it. If she had no lashes, like yeah, nothing on her lashes, like weird. just down. Yeah. But when you put mascara and fake lashes on, there's a oh. n- noticeable difference. Mm, Look like I don't a know, because we've had that like baby before. Like, I don't notice. I don't notice. I'm not a lash guy. All right. That's fair. Uh, Jeffrey Starr's NFL sticking with Jeffrey Star posted is going to Wyoming with his NFL boo. The internet went crazy trying to solve uh, who the man with Jeffrey was. Yeah. There's three they- people that they think it is. Those kind of look like a kicker's head. I mean, the left and the right. What The left is Tom Brady. The right <laughs> is Justin Herbert. And even the middle, Carl Nassib, I think is a very good or pretty good player. I mean, the left and the right are like superstars, left being the greatest of all time. We think Tom Brady is holding hands with Jeffree Star on a plane. Huh? I'm going to vote no on that. Yeah, but well, totally of course no. you are. Of course you are. You're a Brady fan. What about Justin yeah, well, Herbert? He's, he's a pretty good looking dude. Yeah, he's a good-looking guy. He's a young gun quarterback. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Why don't are know. people thinking it's them? So they they were trying, trying to, to match decipher the hands by the ankles and the yeah. shoes. Yeah, and the ankles. They're oh. using like what in they the can shoes. in the photo. Actually, one girl I think went to the extent of finding out the model of the jet, seeing how far apart the seats are 
um, like feet wise, and then putting that into consideration with where the feet are lined up to try to figure out the guy's height as well. Mm. So some people are doing some research. Yeah, in the Vans, they figured out like every quarterback that has ever wore Vans before and then narrowed it down. Yeah, I'm looking at this next page. It's crazy. No, I have no idea who it could be. I don't, I don't know anything about. Yeah, and we'll never know because Jeffree Star always keeps it under wraps. Who's which which who's is kind of respect. Yeah, I'm going to vote no on the left and the right and the middle, but who knows? Um. Dixie Star, Dixie Star, Dixie Star, Dixie stands up for Charlie. Dixie stands up for Charlie after fans are overly critical of what Charlie does and posts. A tweet that started all this was someone telling Charlie to dye her hair back after getting pink highlights underneath her hair, which are probably just extensions she can remove anyway. All right. I mean, this doesn't seem like a huge story. The sister, um, older sister defending Charlie. They're obviously like super close. I don't know why they care what people say at this point, but. Yeah, I feel like they got to be over that by now. now that still sucks because she's so young. Uh, yeah, you forget how young she is. Is Noah Beck making music? A picture's going around that looks like Noah's recording studio, although Noah tweeted that isn't him. Fans think he's being sarcastic. Uh, Have you ever heard him that, sing, Josh? I mean, no. no. That doesn't no. look like Noah it's to me. Made you. I think it kind of looks like him. The studio tagged him in the post. Oh, so yeah, it's, it's him. It's 100% him. <laughs> oh, well, that's probably I, him. I think he's just joking around being like, hey, that's not even me. <laughs> yeah, no. right. Do we think he's rapping or singing? Oh, he can't rap. No way. No. Not like Josh. Not like me. No. He cannot rap. Um, Brent <laughs> Rivera had someone kicked out of a hotel. A YouTuber, TikToker named Tyler Rivera was staying in the Shining Hotel while Brent Rivera was there and asked Brent if he faked his videos. Brent got worked up that Tyler was bothering him, and eventually Tyler got kicked out. Okay, there's a video of this. Off the top, I am, without knowing more, my guess is he was really bothering him, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the... Guy was Brent, I, I think Brent was in the right. I, yeah, like, I agree. Off the top, just off reading headline. Correct. Agree with you so far. That's Brent Rivera calling security and then the cops on me after I asked him this. Do you fake your videos? No. It all started when I was staying at the Shining Hotel, came out of my room, and randomly found these two girls in the hallway. So I walked across the hallway only to find... What is your name? Donald. Brent. Brent. Last name? Rivera. Do you fake your videos? No. Can you fake your videos? <laughs> no. And then after, on our way to our hotel tour, I ran into them again. Brent Rivera's right there. We get that louder. We're filming our thing. You yeah. film yours. Why did you walk up to us? Yeah. <laughs> like, enter our space. It's paid $400 a night for the hotel. What do you mean? Yeah, if we were normal guests, that would be Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, normal dude. guests? You think <laughs> you're elevated beyond an average human being? You've yeah, this kid's the worst. Uh, I don't have to watch you? anymore. Night. Is it true you kiss your sister, Brent? After begging for the almighty Brent to forgive me, he called the cops and we were escorted out of the yeah, hotel. That, that kid's the worst. You're just harassing them. Yeah. Well, all you yeah, just happen to walk. That kid's a that kid's a piece of shit. He should be in jail. I feel, it, I feel like it was pretty <laughs> obvious what he was doing. Yeah, like he, yeah. He's he's on his knees, but like it's like he's doing this shit for a bit. That's yeah. what he, yeah. he wants that the kid, reaction. He that wants kid the kid sucks out. dick. Um, Scar Girl <laughs> updates. So Scar, <laughs> dude, this was Damn. crazy. This was crazy. <laughs> like the day after we had Scar Girl on NBC News. At, like, did a story on her. In recent months, curiosity around Annie Pinelli's scars reached fever pitch with people online trying to decipher if the long linear uh, mark on her cheek, which has changed shape, color, and length over the time is real or fake. Couldn't believe it was on NBC News. Um, Josh did DM Annie. Is she coming? <laughs> uh, she said she said something like, yeah, I'll go, like come down sometime. I don't I don't really know. She said something. But uh, that's kind of I kind of don't like that. That picture of the DM. That's yeah, it kind of makes it seem that's, like it's all fake just to blow yeah, up. You that's know, that's fan behavior. That's fan behavior right there. Yeah, she posted it immediately. Like it was we got immediately. Well, I, I don't understand thing. what the big deal you said on the show. You're like, I'll DM you to do it. So oh, but it's just I don't know why 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 screenshot and post it on the close friends then if it's not a big deal why didn't post it on the story and right. this just goes to show another you can't post on close friends someone's gonna out you. Totally. Yep. Always. 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 Somebody always. actually sent me. They're like, I'm in her close friends or something, and she was, or knew somebody FaceTiming with her and sent me FaceTime photos, and the scar looked real. So I don't know. Um, Julia Fox reveals her small New York City apartment. The internet went wild when Julia Fox posted a video of her New York apartment. It is smaller. It is a smaller two bedroom apartment. Julia said she hopes someday people watch and not feel so bad about her situation. Uh, she have. 
What's going on with her eyebrows? There, she bleached them, but the underneath is growing back dark, so it's kind of two toned. <laughs> huh. Huh. Yeah. Julia said she doesn't like excessive displays of wealth, thinks big houses are wasteful. Julia said they also have some mice in her apartment, but she doesn't mind it because they'll pick up the crumbs or sun leaves on the floor. Yeah, you know, I didn't like this because she says she doesn't like like overwhelming excessive amounts of wealth, but then she went to say her favorite date was going on a private jet and going shopping, which means you thoroughly enjoyed that, which means you do like excessive showing of wealth. I don't know. It kind of like she contradicted herself a little bit. I don't know. I I mean, whatever. I mean, New York apartments are expensive. So yeah. um, what I like how we have double like we get one Julia Fox story. The next page, Julia Fox faces backlash for not understanding mascara trend. There's a trend going around on TikTok where people tell stories about their past or current relationships, but use mascara to describe them. So it'd be like, oh, I, I miss my old mascara, but I I don't know if I should use it again. But they're talking about their ex-boyfriend or girlfriend. Mm. TikTok can be so dumb. So dumb. Yeah, right? silly. But she commented on someone's talking about getting sexually assaulted, but she thought that they were really talking about mascara. And she's like, I don't feel bad for you. And he's like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, that's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's like kind of messed up funny, though. Not like ha-ha yeah, but, funny. No, I think that's ha-ha funny. Well, you're maybe a little bit messed up in the head if you think that. No, I think what Julia Fox. You think laughing at someone's sexual assault trauma is funny? No, but like if you're misunderstanding well, that, like she thought it was mascara and she's like, I don't feel bad for you because she, it's like, how can mascara sexually assault you? Yeah, the misunderstanding is funny. That's but yeah, like, the trauma yeah. isn't funny. What are you trying to get me canceled? No, of course, uh, sexual assault's <laughs> hey, not. Dude, but I'm just you picking don't up think, what you're putting down, Dave. That's you all. don't think like the Julia Fox thinking she's talking about mascara is like humor? Oh, hilarious. Yeah. Super not funny for that guy or girl, though. Totally. That, yeah. 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 It's like, we're on like the a same bit, page. Though. It's like a sketch. You write yeah, that. Like, it's funny. I, Julia, I'm just well, Julia Fox being like, how can mascara do that? That's funny. Yeah. yeah. Not for shitty sketch for that person, though. Like the start of the sketch was awful for them. Well, yeah, for sure. But I'm saying the totally. Julia Fox part. No one Correct. wants to be in that yeah. sketch. Yeah. yeah. The Julia Fox part. Um, Justin Bieber sells his entire music catalog for 200 million. That's how low. That sounds so low to me. Yeah. Justin what the Timberlake. Hell? Like, hey, not to throw the Justins up against each other, but Justin on Justin crime. Uh, but Justin Timberlake, didn't he sell his for like 200 mil? Says a hundred so, million here. David Bowie, two hundred and fifty million. Yeah, what um, the hell? Stevie Nicks, a hundred million. Bruce Springsteen, five hundred million. Maybe I'm stupid, but like, what does it mean when you sell it? You just have no rights to your music anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he can't make any money off of his music now. Just that correct? No. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But I just don't. I don't like. Do you think he just didn't own a lot of his music to begin with? So then, when it sold, he didn't like. Have. Maybe it's not that bad. I mean, Taylor did her. I'm looking at. I mean, the Springsteen one's crazy. It's so much more. But Stevie Nicks, I don't know if that qualifies as like Fleetwood Mac, but that's a hundred million. Um, Timberlake a hundred. So Bieber two hundred. Maybe it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't had a lot of new music. Not a bit. Um, Logan Paul. I thought this move was like the best wrestling move I've ever seen. I didn't see this. It's crazy. We can show it here. You it's ever nuts. watch Matt Hardy? Yeah, I used to watch the Hardy Boys, but he's never done this Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy used to jump off like the hell in a cell, dude. Let's go, baby! But this was awesome. I don't know, but I guarantee it's highlight worthy. Oh, oh my God. Delicious. Crazy. No one's ever done that before? No, not that I've seen. He's well, doing great. That was crazy. <laughs> Yeah, nuts. It was, uh, Jake it was Paul, Tommy Fury confirmed. I actually reached out to Rogan to be like, we should do a live watch party on this because Ooh, he be and I got in a huge debate on Fury. I think Fury's a trash can. I may bet as my entire net worth on Jake Paul. Oh, that's scary. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's that how is... confident I am. Ah, really believe in huh. yourself on that one. Like, Finance, What's the minimum what? amount you'd put on that? What's the minimum amount you're going to put on that bet? The minimum? Yeah. 100 grand. Oh, that's the minimum. Jesus um, Christ. But it could be a lot more. I'll see how I'm doing at that point. Uh, yeah, finance Bro says addictive. if you're in your 20s, you should have a Lambo. A Finance <laughs> Bro has gone viral after saying if you're in your 20s and you don't have a Lamborghini, that you should have a serious discussion with yourself because it's incredibly 
easy to accomplish. Lamborghinis typically go for around 200 grand. Um, let's see what this guy says. I got a feeling this is a troll job, but we'll yeah. see what he's saying. If you're a guy in your 20s and you don't have a Lamborghini, you should actually sit down and have like a serious discussion with yourself as to why you don't have a Lambo. Yep. Because it's, I realize now that it's so incredibly easy and there's so much money out there and 200 grand relative to what is out there in circulation and what you can grab, especially now with AI tools that you can leverage like never before, 200 grand is Trump change. This guy's the fucking worst. Yeah, I can't tell if he's joking. I don't think I he think is. he actually believes that. Yeah, what? That felt, People that are so out of touch. To me. Would you get a Lamborghini, Josh? I feel like you would. Uh, not as my next car. No, no, no. Well, you're in your that 20s. Still, no Lambo. And he likes to like drag race. That was still one of the worst car rides I've ever been on. Like we weren't even going that quick. We were he going was like, going Brie. This is one of the first times like, we met Josh. It was me and Frankie. He was going a hundred stoplight to stoplight in California. My my heart, my stomach was in my fucking. I think it was toes. like ninety. We have the footage. Dave looks like Jesus he's gonna puke. Christ. I honestly felt like I was gonna puke. That ride couldn't be over. It's just to the next stoplight. It's like <laughs> we're on the autobahn or something. It was horrible. We were driving in a thirty. I actually got pulled over the other day for going sixty in a thirty-five, which sucked. But Damn. teach your kid, teach your kids a lesson. Good thing he doesn't uh, have a Lambo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so I'm gonna be uh, dead. Model. No, I want an E30. I want an E30 BMW. If you were wondering, birthday's coming up, Dave. Just in case you know. You All right, know. Do we oh, know? you when's are your, the car giver. When's your birthday? January 31st. So. Tomorrow. Oh, it really is coming up. Oh, you're almost 21. Tomorrow I'm 21. Oh yeah, yeah. what are you doing Happy for your birthday? birthday? Um, well, I gotta take like a shot tonight at 12. You know what I mean? First do you not have anything big planned? I'm surprised Bree's not out there. He's well, a birthday party. Uh, my birthday. My birthday's February 4th. So it's on the Saturday, uh, and like I'm like rented out a club and stuff like Wait, that. You're man. obviously invited, Dave. Wait, man, I'm totally confused. Yeah. I thought you said your birthday was tomorrow. It is, but like I'm not going to celebrate party on the day next week. Birthday. Got it. It's just because it's, it's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, people. Got Isn't water. there that lyric "Club Going Up" on a Tuesday? Yeah, the there is that lyric. That is a lyric. You're right. I, I could have played that. That could have been the theme of the party. Yep. Should have talked to you earlier. Missed Would've opportunity. Idea. Yep. yep. It's too bad. So, Bree, are you going to come or what's up? Yeah, I th I think so. Oh, see, right. I knew it. Yeah, That's sick. working on it. That's sick. How about you, Dave? Or are you fake BFF? Well, no, we got. I'm flying to um, oh, come up Arizona on Sunday. Your head, yeah, yeah, it's tough. Well, um, LA's on Saturday, so hmm. 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 get pretty close too. Where, where, where are you? Arizona. Where's your party? <laughs> or you can't say it because you don't want people to crash it. Ah, I mean, I don't think people will crash it. Yeah, we'll have security. It's at Harriet's. We rented out a club, and then, oh yeah, um, yeah, we did that. Yeah. So, yeah, um, yeah. that's like, yeah, I've been there. That's yeah. upstairs at Could the one, again. right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, you said the name. Uh, model falls on the runway. Valentino model Kristen McKenemy falls on the runway, takes her heels off to finish her walk at the Paris Fashion Show. Valentino has been taking a lot of heat because this is not the first time a successful model has fallen on her shoes. People are saying they're giving models the wrong shoe sizes, which is why they're falling. This was an interesting clip. I saw it. I made a comment because it looks like she has fucked up ankles. Well, yeah, like, because when she gets back up without the shoes, she still looks like she can't walk. Correct. Now, and then I saw the comments, people laughing at that, being like she's a famous model. Clearly, she can walk. Maybe the shoes, she like almost they were so messed up. She they hurt. I don't know, watch the clip. It's crazy. I haven't seen this. Oh. It looked like she couldn't walk when she was on her bare feet. Yeah, yeah that's what's crazy. It, it once she took the turn, it looked like it went straight. And yeah. why would Valentino be? So like they're not they're not some chop shop. I think they can get the right size shoes for their model. None of this makes sense unless it's a publicity stunt. Yeah, I don't know because it has happened before with Valentino. It happened like last fashion week. Strange. Strange. Um BFF Corner, I'm an Instagram boyfriend. This, I mean, whatever. I knew this was gonna somebody was gonna get this. <laughs> we went to the basketball game. <laughs> Silvana's working. She's wearing fashion over jeans. Go buy them. So yeah. Sometimes she films my pizza reviews and I have to film, take a picture. Yeah, it my boyfriend takes all my pictures. And by the way, I never get it right. It's like we didn't use even, those photos. I don't know how to take them. I always get yelled at. 
You got the little boyfriend's picture squat going. Yeah, I don't know yeah, how to take them. Like, like the like, token, the token little <laughs> tiny squat. That, You're like, pointing down. You got to point up more. I know. Uh, they listen, got, I, you got it. Uh, you don't know the angles. No, you don't. Nope. nope I don't. I Should don't. work on it. Hmm. Bree's influencer episode. And Bree's plan, Bree episode, she dished on influencers. said that every influencer does drugs, <laughs> even the ones you don't think would do drugs. <laughs> I did say that. Who, who do we funny. think doesn't do drugs? I don't know. Which would be code for saying they do drugs, I guess. Yeah. You, I was what, just talking like about how- controversy or something? No, I didn't think. We were just talking. We did like an influencer episode, and um, we were just talking about how like we're, we've we partied with people you would never think would be doing that stuff. I think every single person you party with does drugs. Yeah. So I'm not surprised by that. Yeah. But you'd be surprised that people think- Influencers don't do that shit. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess I would. Yeah, you. Also I mean, I feel said, like I wouldn't be that surprised that they do it, you know, or yeah. that they fake it. I guess that they 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 hide it. It's they more have young of that. Fans. Yeah, yeah. Like, of course, they're gonna hide it. You yeah, know what I mean, you're not gonna like promote to a nine year old like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, go rip some like you know what I mean. <laughs> like that's that's craziness. <laughs> what was the drama? <laughs> Joey wouldn't shut the fuck up. No, it's kidding. <laughs> I, I th is Joey on this or not? I would want. We want him. Right? Yeah, I don't know where he ran off to. He's getting pulled in all directions. Okay. Yeah, I'll text him to come in. Okay. Well, we can. Are we waiting? Start what? What's happening? No, we could start and then they you just can walk said, in. I'm so tall compared to you two because I'm in the high chair. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I was gonna say you could sit here, but I think it's the same thing. I look thing. like a Goliath. No, I'm kidding. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm uh, used to looking like a giant next to her. Oh yeah. I can't help that I'm a small person. <laughs> Austin, we got what what's what's happening? Uh did they just text and said maybe he's one second. I'm texting Joy. Yeah. What were you guys just gossiping about though? I know what? you would love to know. <laughs> yeah, while you were saying it, I could hear Use you. Use your imagination. <laughs> Welcome to the Jersey Shore, Dave. You should totally be on our show. Um No, I I'm actually you know, every season with certain girls, they we tend to clash. And actually, this is the first time that I'm seeing someone since a cliffhanger of our season finale. Yeah. And yeah, but you, didn't you just say this person was mad that they weren't here on, right now? No. Did I just make that oh, up? Oh, no, no, no. Not, not about this. Like about today and earlier. So who are you talking about? Isn't I that the... Know. Isn't this that's like a well? Good there's preview, a falling right? out with Angelina yeah. at the end of okay. the season, and um, she's here. It's just that oh, Jenny hasn't it. seen her. Got it. Yeah, All I'm right. being very nice. Girl shit, you know. I'm being very nice. <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm being 38. Mm, I'm much more. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, <laughs> Jay. Wow, you you. You gotta stop throwing around the age thing because I'm significantly older than you. So if you keep being like I'm 38 and I'm old, that's no, trouble not for old. me. No, She I'm, thinks you're a dinosaur. Yeah. Not yeah, old I'm 45. You? I'm oh my 45. god, you're not. You old don't look at it, but you're also a man, which Facts. men can oh, man. age it's gracefully and get away with it. And mid 40s for a man of your stature is it's your prime. Yeah, yeah, like you are like not even hitting the fine wine stage yet. You're gassing okay. them up. Yeah. I like. Yeah, no. There I, he oh, is. There he is. All right, come on, let's go. This He's got his laptop. Right away, Mr. Portnoy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to come in your singlet. I'm I'm upset. not allowed to wear uh, exposed clothing in front of Mr. Portnoy. Oh, like yeah. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> You're I'm <all> nervous. Flustered. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Dave. Oh, my God. What's up, Joey? All right. Joey's so assistant. let's go. I, all right. <laughs> so we obviously, BFFs, we have Jay Wow, Snooki. Joey Kamasa, do you know Joey at all? Let, do we do go do the intro introduction, Josh? You have Josh, you're on my podcast. Joey's. No, I was yeah, I was on Joey's. I was on Joey's podcast. I was on okay. Joey's podcast. Yeah. yeah. All right. What, so Joey, what, what, let's start real quick. Like I heard you were gonna do this, and then you tried to bail. Well, um, I got I got word from um from someone. They told me to not come in, and now, now I did. Totally Who? Who him said in. that? It was yeah, it wasn't Joey's fault. It wasn't my fault. Yeah, no. Who's, whose who fault was that? it? MTV. MTV. <gasps> They shunned you from this? Well, I think there's a lot. I'm, I'm overexposed. I mean, I'm a big celebrity here at Barstool, they, and I just want to. So I, want to I don't want to overshine the girls. Oh my God, my they ears. thought you were going to take away from the He's interview. Uh, maybe, yeah. Uh, please stop screaming, please. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's set. Let's let's rewind just for a second. Obviously, 
Well, everybody knows. I'm always a little curious on, on Jersey Shore because to me, you guys are like my era a little bit. Like, I, I don't like Josh. Did you actually watch Jersey Shore growing up? Uh, no, but my parents also wouldn't have let me watch it. Anymore. Oh, yeah. my, yeah. my God. God. I sneakily I'm, I'm watched leaving. it. I'm literally going to leave. I watched it. All, I, but I had to, sorry, I had to sneakily sorry. record it. Josh, how old are you? 19. Were you in middle school? <laughs> No, I'm 20. I'm 20. Oh my god, he, was, no, he wasn't even born. <laughs> he wasn't even born. You were born. He yeah. was in diapers. I mean, you yeah, were I was, a, I was a youngin'. Oh my god. <laughs> I was I was still in like the womb and stuff when you oh guys my I think, god. were first Jesus. making the show. Yeah. So how familiar yeah. are you then with them now? Like where? Well, see, I, they, it was. It's hard to describe what Jersey Shore was like when it hit because yeah. there really hasn't been a ton like it. it it was that big it was just took over kind of everything and they blew up instantly it's almost the rise of the tiktokers in a weird way when it all happened at once like where these people come from it was overnight it was that fast it was probably the number one show in the history of mtv am i right about that mm -hmm. yeah so what is your like and i guess That's Bree weird. too like where do they sit since you guys are a little younger? Like, where, where do you view them now? I, like, were you that familiar? Would you know them instantly? Yeah. Well, I'm 23, so I grew up. Well, when did the show air? No, 2009. 2009. Yeah. So I secretly watched it in middle school and I would record it. And then <laughs> they were like my they were like my celebrities. Like Aww. I like fr I was freaking out when, when I found out they were coming. Stop. Aww. Yeah. Aww. I'm I serious. Just got goosebumps. Like, seriously. Yeah. Love them. She owns TikTok. <laughs> I don't know if Josh yeah. really would know. Yeah, no, I mean, for me, it was like, uh, didn't South Park do like a bit about you guys one time? Yes, Smooky, or Snooky, Smooch, Smooch. Right? I was literally a whole <laughs> episode, like, so yeah. honoring. It was yeah, amazing. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, I think, like, how I first, uh, oh, like, so you met a really? fucking fat watched. rat humping people. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Thank yeah, you. that's that's how I was first introduced <laughs> to you. Perfect. Yeah. And it that. was very similar, I feel like, in public, in, in like, the, the celebrity realm in which I remember when Dixie, um, not Dixie, when Charlie started blowing up and she started going mainstream, she was like at the NBA All-Star game and people started kind of almost resenting her in a way. They're like, why is this person from there? You get like Snooki was everywhere. Like you literally couldn't turn on the TV without Snooki being in something and it crossed from MTV to just everywhere with, I'd say, celebrities trying to grab onto your shine, all the like Jersey Shore to build. It was just, it was everywhere. It was just the biggest thing ever. The fact that it's still going is- I know. Thank bonkers i mean we think the same yeah but we have no idea but we're blessed and yeah. we're grateful for it um and how's joey what do you like what like <laughs> what what, what is your role i know you he was you, on the show I've recently yeah and you like met yeah. snooki doing her makeup or something yeah we met many many moons ago i was a celebrity makeup artist in hollywood before i got um hired over <laughs> here and i got he was. i was 2009 in the height of her thing and i'm, I'm supposed to do her makeup for some big big uh big uh video shoot and she runs in like 25 minutes late and she comes in and I, I always say like, it's like, um, who's Snoop for that character from Snoopy that has all the, the, blanket? the dirt around them and the dust and all the smoke. Riff Linus. Linus. She was like was Linus, Linus, but it was like hair extension, spray tans and booze. And she's like Southern Comfort. And she comes running in okay. and I was like, I have to do her, her makeup. And she's like, so hungover. She goes, will you do a shot with me right now? It was 7 a.m. I said, you know, Snooki from Jersey Shore asked me to do a shot with her. You have to do a fucking shot with her. So I did a shot with her and then we started binge drinking throughout the whole shoot. And then <laughs> we hit the ground running yeah we were besties ever since never looked back yep no so i don't know if brie you have any questions or like josh i i'm more curious the continuation of it and like your relationships with mtv and things like that like do you always want to do more or do they have to like wave checks in front of your faces to do more like what what is that like because you both have families. Mm -hmm. There's probably an element. I know I've read Snooki's like, you don't want your kids involved. There's an element of being in the public spotlight for so long now. Like, how do you enjoy doing it still? Or is it now, you know, a money thing like combo? What's that like? My ongoing joke is I mm. quit every season. Oh, yeah. Jenny quits every, every season. season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it has no. nothing to do with MTV, nothing to do with production. I bring my kids. I don't know if you know anything about having kids, but when you're trying to I juggle don't. work, children, cameras in your face. Um, Stay up to 3 a.m. Getting up at 7 to then be a parent uh, off camera. It's it's just mentally exhausting. So I quit every season and then me and the owner <laughs> but of the she's production. she's always back. Yeah, yeah, the owner of the production company just like, she's like, is it okay to hug you or are you still like 
Are and you he, mad at me? He quit, and I'm like, no, I'm okay. I just needed to have that mental breakdown. Yeah. It's. I don't think it has anything to do with money. Um, I mean, the money's nice because you know we want to feed our kids. Yeah, right. But it comes but, um, down to like, are you guys rich? I say we're you not your be. rich. Yeah, we're but, not your rich. No, but we're well off. You're like up here. We're like I saw here. your Amex um, points. My I points. Know all about well, that. to my defense, though, I've been that is because I when I started, it was just me. And now the whole company still runs on Amex. So and I won't give them up. That's like my pride and joy. So, yeah. yeah, I'm a big, big Amex guy. Well, that's nice. Yeah, no, it's huge. So, OK, I got I'm just rifling through questions at the top. So anybody wants to like jump in at any time. Um, the realness of it. It's a reality show. Mm-hmm. Uh, my impression of it is it's very real. Um, like the relationships and you guys, mm-hmm. it, it you guys would be like Scorsese and De Niro if you could act some of the things that you're acting. What level, I always give this example. Um, I, was in, I have a place in the Hamptons, right? And next door, they rented a house for Real Housewives of Miami. And I was like peering oh. through the, I, yeah, I was peering through the trees, like spying on them. <laughs> mm-hmm. and oh, that's I, kind of weird. They were redoing scene after oh, wow. scene. Like I could see them be like, "Oh yeah, Do Housewives it again. is totally scripted." Yeah. So mm-hmm. what with it with you guys? Any of it, or is this all like you always hear people after in different shows? The yeah. Bachelor being one for sure. They're like, "Well, they're just cutting it up, and it's not really yeah. what's happening." I never really got that vibe with you guys. Um, yeah, I would say definitely the our original show was nothing was manufactured, nothing was scripted. Because we were in a house 24-7, cameras in our faces for a full month. So, I mean, you don't need to, you know, script anything. I would say now, though, because we don't do that anymore, producers have more of a choice on where we go vacation-wise. Yeah. Um, for, and like, permit They purposes. have more ideas, but then they just throw us in the scene and we just do our thing. Yeah. But we don't have a script. They don't tell us what to do. We don't... We don't um, we don't reshoot things like th- that would be crazy. But I would say the fact that you said like we are really close, we are really real. That actually mm-hmm. kind of backfires with us because we're very protective of each other. So I would say our real group chat and our real lives are more crazier than the show. But because we love each other so strong, like if there is a storyline that production's like, hey, do you want to like talk about this? We're just like. No, and we all will shut down. So we're as much, we'll give everything and we'll put it on the table. But at the same time, we also pick and choose because we're very present in each other's lives. And we've always said, if this ends tomorrow, that's still the godmother of my child and she's still the godmother of mine. And I'm never going to do anything to hurt Mm. her or hurt myself. And so that can be probably frustrating for production. Oh, totally. That's where we differ from housewives. We don't throw each other under the bus because we genuinely do love each other. And, I mean, all shows are in for ratings. You guys are significantly, as we talk about, older. Like, so, you know, Mm -hmm. when you were thrown into the first, I mean, it really was a game-changing reality show. I I assume you guys totally didn't know what to expect or what you're getting into. Mm -hmm. And now, like, you got families going on family vacation. It's all different walking down the Jersey shore and having people get like knocked out on camera and stuff. Like, you know, the yeah. one punch stuff. I mean, so. I can still see it happening. Just hit my toes. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, bounce Freak. off. <laughs> Wait, you guys oh, talk. I want to talk- knock someone out every once in a while. I'm not going to lie. But yeah. Angelina? Did, didn't yeah. you knock someone out? Didn't uh. you knock someone out for Snooki when she was like drunk on the beach? I think yes. That, that, I yeah. was actually the only castmate, and I'll still say that to this day, that like threw hands with that dude. That hit Nicole. Yeah, she was. Not none of the guys. No, no, the guys were just wow. like, "What the fuck?" But Jenny actually was like beating the shit out of them. So. As this cop. was like the first week you guys were even in the house, so you're not even yeah. that close to friends with each other. But thank time. God yeah. that happened because yeah. I feel like the punch in the face like made everyone be like, "What the fuck is this show?" Like <laughs> yeah. I need to tune in. Like a guy just punched a little girl in the bar. Yeah. And also, I think chemistry wise, it made everyone realize like they liked me. <laughs> Because yeah. I felt like an outcast yeah, about for a little bit. needed to get punched. Yeah, yeah. I needed yeah. to get punched to be liked. So yeah. it, It's I mean, actually on our sheet, and it's not funny at all. But when you mm. read it, it's actually very funny. Uh, but as a standalone sentence, it says, Snooki, and it has the original picture view. Snooki was unliked in the house until a man punched her in the face. I mean, that's literally what I just together. said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right. No, it's yeah. true. So, I mean, yeah. it was traumatizing 
traumatizing. Oh, it was it was really scary in the moment. But I mean, looking back at it now, it's like, what the fuck was going on? Did that guy get arrested? Crazy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He got arrested and then his father ended up doing like an article in the newspaper saying how I ruined his life because his son mm. can't get a job. Mm. He was a teacher, wasn't he? It was he? your fault. He was a teacher. Yeah. It yeah. was my <gasps> fault that he punched me in the face. He was a teacher? A teacher. Yeah. Oh, that's he terrible. Yeah. That's Good nuts. thing there, there was cameras there. I mean. Yeah. And then There's also. also like, oh, sorry. No, no, you go. No, I was just, just going to say it also showed a whole new level. I mean, like something like that, a man hitting a woman it was not a thing you put on television mm -hmm. or you really see, at least me growing up. So to see a raw moment like that as you're sitting with your friends taking shots and someone just gets punched, like it was such a, I, it was insanity for especially for like yeah. I mean the show the ads like people watching and then I remember MTV wanting to black it out and I think they did they in the did first for episode. a little bit yeah yeah I remember they I didn't, didn't show it. it yeah that was like it's you know, hard traumatizing it. yeah yeah. Uh -huh. yeah what is the arc been and this is I feel like well it could be everywhere Josh you could speak to this a little bit but I know for a fact it's a northeast thing definitely a Jersey thing where it's like, if you start being coming popular, people start just hating you. Where it's like, mm. oh, what are these people doing out? Like, what are they famous for? How, has that arc done a full, like, circle for you guys now? Do you still like, do you, like, it's almost like a jealousy thing, and which is mm. like, what are they? Oh, we're hated they? in New Jersey, I feel. Oh, everyone hated us in New Jersey. <laughs> still. Like, we're not still. like that. I mean... Yes, well, you, you are. Go down yes, the shore, you yes, are. you are. Like, that's how our life is. You like, were there. In the summer, yeah. So I definitely feel like people definitely hated us. Still? No, See, st I think yes. it's come for full because no, we still I'll give shit. you an example. We went to my fiance's AEW event in Newark, and they announced that we were there, and the whole fucking place. <laughs> we got booed. Booed. I go, no. Jenny. I'm, I'm like, like Jenny. <laughs> And then I'm like, <laughs> I left like actual in tears. Boo. I was like mortified. Boo. Oh my Not God. real tears, but I was just like, hide me. No, I like I'm, slid under my chair. I'm used to that though, because when I did WrestleMania, when I walked out, the whole place was roaring people. with booze. And I'm like, fuck me. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm going to win them over with my freaking back handspring. Like I'm going <laughs> to yes. pin this girl. Like It's going to be amazing. So I won them over, but... I feel like I did used tweet to about that booed. in real time, Snooky. I was that wasn't that iconic. That. Like that was oh, so cool. great. Yeah. yeah, I talked the about that in real time. Maybe it's just like a Philadelphia Eagles, like a Northeast, like they boo yeah. just to boo. You know, Philly because scares the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah, Philly <laughs> scares they're me. Terrifying. Didn't you go there and get booed too? Like yeah. Philly terrifies me. Oh yeah, they're always like on fire and burning shit too. They're crazy. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> So where do you guys stand? And we have more on this, like castmates. The so um Sammy Sweetheart has never come back, right? Am I wrong no, about that? That's right what she that. made it clear, yeah. Yeah, she didn't want to come back. Are you guys friendly with her? I am. Yeah, I mean, I've tried to reach out and say, let's just do a dinner. Like it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Like the fans want to see you. Like, let's just do a quick girls dinner. That's the last I spoke to her. She said no. She didn't want to come back ever. Like, she's good. And then she blocked me. So. Ooh. What's the reason? I don't know. I don't know. You have no idea. I didn't do like, anything hey. to her. No. Is it just Ron? She doesn't want to be back around him? Well, he's not on the show anymore. Yeah. yeah. Ron's, oh, Ron, wow. Ron I forgot is about not that. Ron has, yeah. like, the most problems going. Doesn't yeah. He? Like, I he's, forgot he went through all that crazy yeah, shit. He's yeah. working on himself right now. So. But Are he was on the latest episode you were on. Oh, that was old. Oh, okay. Okay. You were just posting yeah, the clips? I yeah, I would have bet my bottom dollar with him being gone, we could get Sam back. To come back. Yeah, but and she still wasn't in it. So she's She still... probably has PTSD. Just anything in that relationship was so toxic mm -hmm. with her that like any mention of her it reminds her of it and it brings things back of what happened with her, I think. Yeah, I think she DM'd mm -hmm. me about pizza. What is her? Shut oh. up. <laughs> is she what sliding is... in your DMs? Oh my God. What is her Instagram? Sammy Sweetheart, I think. Yeah. 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 Well, that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Sammy, yeah, with an I. Have I ever Sammy? slid in your DM? Now I'm like, Ooh, oh, probably. Delete Dina quick. Has. No, it, it oh, wasn't. Dean is obsessed with you. Yes, Dina's in the back, obsessed. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I, I'm making this up. Um, maybe, maybe she, she unsent it. it. Yeah, she could have. No, yeah. I maybe made it up. I thought maybe she you did dreamed about remember, it. Yeah, it wasn't like a thing. I thought it was about pizza. I could be wrong. Um. Mm. When you okay, talked about your group chat, the real group chat you had earlier, is there anyone left out of the group chat? Ron and Sam. Okay. But everyone else is in it? 
We have another group I forgot. chat. There's several. There's several. We, have, we have a lot of group chats. So okay. we have the sisters group chat, which mm-hmm. is just me, Jenny, and Dina. So we okay. have our mom group chat. And then yeah. the boys have a separate one. And MVP. then it's all of us. And then we have one with Angelina and the producers <laughs> and everyone. Okay. So we have a lot of group chats. Uh-huh. And it can Did get real guys? messy real uh-huh. quick, especially if two of them are going on at the same time. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. you're saying something. Oh, when you text in the wrong group yes. chat? Yep. And you're like, I've well, done that. <laughs> I like You've that unsend that? button. Oh yeah, now that That's works. Key yeah. Now. Mm-hmm. I hate that. Um, <laughs> you should be allowed to unsend. Did you guys see this huge party that was just done by all the influencers, Jersey Shore? Uh, it was here. Have you seen this party? I assume you have. Alex Earl was yes. there. Yes. Alex said that she I took her dress from me. Yes. I was so flattered. I'm um, so oh, confused. So here's the like, you haven't seen it yet. This is gonna get me blocked no. now. This is gonna get me blocked. Unfortunately, so under that in uh, under her TikTok, she was saying like, "Oh, I wanted to be." I don't know what what are we looking at right here. But the thing that I got kind of like taken back was Sammy commented under it. Oh, what did she say? Like something very positive, and I was like, "Oh, I thought you don't like the Jersey Shore anymore." Oh, that's gonna get me blocked. I mean, so you, I mean, you, you, the even what you just said, you definitely still have a little beef with Sammy the way you just said that. No, I just I tiptoe because like. We, I would kill for her to come back. I would like to at least know the reason why she wouldn't come back. We've never, and maybe that's just a selfish part of me where I just, Mm -hmm. I want to be like, did we do something wrong? Or like, is it just because you buried this back in 2013? Like, it's just like that thing that you don't know. And it's just kind of frustrating. But then you go on to make like TikToks about us. Or like, you know, things like that or comment on it. And it's like, are you are you done with us or are you not? Well, she's very yeah. positive um, on her TikTok about Jersey Shore. Yeah. Like always talking about it and saying I'm Sammy's sweetheart, but then like refuses to come back. And talk so to you guys. So like, it's just come confusing. back for one thing. When's the last time you saw her? Dina's oh, wedding, right? Years ago, yeah. Oh, and that's probably the last time you guys talked? Um, no, last time I talked, I, I reached Got out blocked. to see if she would do a dinner. Mm. And then that was it. So. Yeah. You guys... I'm interested by this because this party, I have the sheet. So it's Father yeah. Kells, which I'm not 100% sure who that is. Um, Victoria Virierel, don't really know. It's Stassi ba- <laughs> Do you know these people? No, I don't even know who I do. Alex know. was. I do, yeah. yeah. Um, Father Kells, is- more Instagram. Uh, oh. Father Kells was like an Instagram girl. And she's like really big in LA. Hangs out with like all the top Stassi people. Stassi Baby, I definitely oh. have heard the name. That's Kylie's best friend. That's Kylie's yes. best friend. Noah, Noelia Ramirez, don't know. Olivia O'Brien, we've had on the show, I know. Harry Josie, I know. Yep. Jaden Hostler, obviously we know. Mm-hmm. Alex Earl, we know. Dixie DeMello, oh. Zayn Hajaza, I don't they know. So it's all TikTokers? You're so popular yeah. with the TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. It was a big, yeah. yeah, Paulie was there. You're you have lying. to, ready, it's look at the pictures. Fair. What the look. fuck? It was in LA and it was her birthday and it was Jersey Shore themed, so everyone went crazy. Oh, that's good. They look at the, they Oh, look that good. looks like me. Yeah. That's a good snooky. Yeah. They look I hot. don't know what those two people are. Those look like two J Wows. Yeah. Yeah. That's a J Wow? The one on the left, I, I would say. Oh, that's Stassi. Dixie is probably mm-hmm. and Dixie D'Amelio. I think Dixie just went somewhere else and came she over did. after. She <laughs> went to a rave mm. and showed up. <laughs> Um, Harry Josie, I don't know what this is. Like like Vinny. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, Vinny, yeah. Oh, he tried. Yeah. Mm. The wife beater's kind of like And Vinny, the tattoos, I, yeah. I don't know if they're real or the fake. The bare midriff doesn't really read for any of the guys. No. Well, it's a wife no. beater. Oh. oh! So this is Alex Earl, she took from this you? The famous That's what she said in yeah. the comments. I used to wear dresses similar to that. Yeah. yeah. She looked good. Okay. That's me. Fist pumping. All right. <laughs> oh, that's me on the yeah. So yeah, that, Stassi was me. The, yeah. Um, hair extension. The blonde. The blonde, the blonde streaks. Skunk. That's literally yes. what she looked like. Her hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> why didn't I see these? This is why no, I we, say I'm so we old. We you have so to get on hot. TikTok. They they talk about you guys all the time. TikTok you guys aren't on TikTok. So, I am, yeah. but I, just I do. But it's like stalk. a mom thing. Um, yeah, I yeah. stalk. Like I don't post. I just love looking at like all the new generation mm-hmm. and. You guys would blow up if you posted. Have you gone to any retro parties like this? Where it's like... (laughs) (laughs) By the way... I mean, I would love to. That'd be fun. We threw one in real time. Like, we had a... So Barstool was just probably getting underway. We had a party at McFadden's in Boston called the Jim Tan Laundry Party. (gasps) Polly DJed it. And we had... I can't. 
Yeah, we had a, an actual tanning booth. Like I was bright orange. I just kept <laughs> going Stop. in. Who'd you like dress a up thousand as? Thousand times. Uh, I just had we we had gym tan. We didn't dress at that. It was just like Paulie's oh. there and get a tan. So I was just very tan. Like need- I mean. Crazy. Tanner than you guys were, yeah, yeah. back in the day. <laughs> you need um, to invite us next time. Literally, this yeah. was this was like we could be the dancers. I, I'm yeah, down. we we used hell? to do it all. We had Mr. Belding at a party. We had we were doing it all back then. Oh my god, so random. Yeah. Um. All right. So tell us about the show that's coming out. Uh, the v- family vacation. So MTV doesn't get mad. By the way, Joey. Yes. I've never heard you this quiet. I'm nervous. <laughs> About yeah, he's what? being weird. He's like, I don't know, like, what questions to ask you on my podcast. Like, she's calm coming down. Out, she's coming out and about next. Like, I'm your best friend. And you guys have a conversation. You're holding back. You're holding the questions for your podcast. I am. No, yeah. that's true. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, he's leaving the energy. Yeah, I need the clips. Oh. Mm, can't give So, to what us. are we looking forward to um, for your show? Well, more drama, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, this season we're traveling a lot. So Mike is randomly in a cornhole tournament. <laughs> so we end up doing that. We're staying at a lake house. It's freaking weird. There's a lot of lap dances and it's a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure That's... Vinny finally has sex with Angelina. Possibly. Yeah, it says that they're <laughs> flirting oh. and they're dating. Oh, yeah. No, it's freaking weird. Have they ever had sex? Yes. Yeah, yes. back in the day in Miami. Yeah. It was recorded. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We need some privacy. We need some privacy. <laughs> yeah. Who said that? He did? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can you guys get out? Me and Angelina need some privacy. Stop. Have they ever rekindled it? He's like a virgin. <laughs> Ew. <No>. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. So we went from there's a big cornhole tournament to mm-hmm. to Angelina and Vinny Fuck. Basically. Ba- yep. Yeah. Literally yeah. Okay. Yeah. like that. So we're at yeah, ESPN levels, and then we come home and, and they it's fuck. that. Yeah. Oh, okay. perfect. Then we wake up and You're we fly to like holes. California for your wine. Yep. And then we get so wasted. So what is the premise of it? Like, I know you're traveling. Are, mm-hmm. Is it traveling all over the place or like one spot? We didn't intend to. It just happened this season. Yeah. I feel like they actually were following our lives and what was happening. So like I was going to California. Mike's going here for Cornhole. Vinny's so it's like oh, Dancing with the Stars. Dancing, Dancing with, with the, the Stars. Oh, yes. so, so it's like a ton of trips. Little trips. They're globetrotters. And then we go to New Orleans for the, for the big banger. Okay. What, how, who, that's the big banger? Angelina and Vinny in New Orleans? Oh, no. There's there's no. more big bang. Oh, oh there's, in there's New a Orleans. big bang where there's a cliffhanger, possibly. I was very shocked. This is what I was told. <laughs> All right. We got a game for you guys, I think. Fuck, Mary, kill, Bree. And Damn it. And let him go. Yes. I'm copying this for my show. You are? Yeah. <gasps> okay. ah, I just saw Jen. <laughs> I have your notes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> I'm scared of her. Damn it. Who makes those awesome? Devin. Okay, fuck Mary Kill. Oh, have, oh, come on. The big three. I'll do it. Mike, Polly D, and Ronnie. You guys all have to do it. I oh, don't know this answer. No, this I don't want to. I don't know if I can do this. One. I'm marrying Polly because he's the richest. Same. Yes. I'm a I'm, uh, fucking Ron. Fucking oh, no, Ron. I'm, I'm killing Ron and marrying Mike. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Marrying Polly because he's the richest. You're going to fuck Mike? Well, I, I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him either. I don't, don't, don't want to kill anyone. I don't want to fuck anybody. I'll fuck all <laughs> yeah. three of them. Thank you. You fuck all three of them. You I'm mar- we're marrying Polly. We're marrying Polly. Yes. Yeah. I. And we're killing Ron. Killing. Ron. Why not? <laughs> okay. Fuck it. I'll do it. <laughs> That's how I figured this one. Was. Stop. Yeah. Mm. Polly's really. Rich. They did say incest is. What the is Polly wearing? What What is that shirt? Um, that says it looks I don't designer. Know. He's it, very into designer brands. Yeah. It looks like it's off white. Oh, attaboy, Joe. Yeah. Out and about. There we go. Okay, next. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Vinny, Shit, Danny, and I'm Uncle killing Nino. Danny. 100% killing Danny. Danny. I'm marrying Uncle Nino. Oh. I'm killing Uncle Nino because he takes all my roles. He's always <laughs> he's always like, um, anytime I'm up for something, he always ends up doing it. We were supposed to go on Family Feud one day, and I was up for it, and they, they cut me, and they added Uncle Nino. Oh, I remember Wait, that. Is that true? Yes. I remember that. Well, I Wait. think I flew to LA with you and I was supposed to be on it last minute. Oh my God, who, yes. Uh, for, for the uninitiated, who is Danny and who is Uncle Nino? So Danny is the Shore Store owner. So he was our boss back in the day. Um, on the board. Yeah, okay. I would definitely kill him. <laughs> um, and then Uncle Nino is Vinny's um, uncle. uncle. So he's Got like it. the fun uncle All that right. comes and he loves his wine and he can't speak and it's amazing. <laughs> A gentleman. Gotcha. Yeah, we love him. I want to fuck and marry Vinny at the same time. A mute I'm glad wine. you can do that for us. <laughs> yep. Do they still, do Vinny, does Vinny still have his double shot of love? No. No, they did three seasons and I think 
That's it. I think MTV literally gave up on trying to find yeah. him love. Yeah, he's he never not going to find love. love. Like, you just can't. Yeah, like, just stop. <laughs> Got it. There. Angelina, oh. Dina, and Sammy. Oh. oh, no. Well, I'm marrying Dina. Yeah, I'll yeah. marry Dina because she's a really good wife. Um, she's a I'll, phenomenal I'll wife. I'll fuck Sammy. I'll fuck Sammy. And then Angelina. <laughs> Bitch, you're dead. <laughs> I'll bang Angelina, oh, marry Dina, and I'll kill Sammy. Okay. okay. For the pity fuck. Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely. Oh, shit. I'm marrying. Oh. I'm marrying Nikki. Good one. Yeah. Nikki is a, a really good cook. Phenomenal cook. She would take care of me. I'm really fucking well. Jen. So you're going to kill Lawrence? I don't know. I guess so. Because Jen's. Fucking Jen wild. Jen will kill you before you can even get no, to her. No, I feel like That's Jen's true. a freak in the sheets. Freak. For I'm sure. I'm yes. banging Jen. That'll be a crazy fuck. Yeah, I'll bang Jen. Right? I want a crazy fuck. Yeah. You gotta have one. I think I'll marry both Lawrence and Nikki. I'll, yeah. I can't kill Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence is too yeah. sweet to kill. Yeah. yeah. Thruple with Lawrence I'll and Nikki. I'll marry Lawrence. She has such great style. She does. And her house is beautiful. Yes. yes. I mean, this. I don't know who these people are, but Nikki's gorgeous. The, so, I mean, these are the girlfriends. These are the girlfriend wives. Yeah. Got it. Girlfriend wives, yeah. Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, That's thank God. Game. Yeah, yeah. Easy. Jesus. <laughs> all right. Um, Bree, Josh, Josh, you've been very lively. A lot of questions. I know. I Josh, mean, I'm he sorry. He doesn't know who I'm we are. So like, I did, I, I've been I brought, googling. I've saw yeah. something. Who are these girls? <laughs> I brought I have, myself I park ammo in, and that was kind of it. <laughs> Usually, it's reverse. Usually, yeah. I'm like, wait, what, what's going on here? Now, now I know. I'm in the upper hand. So, yeah. um, the the show premieres Thursday, January 26th. Uh. We have a trailer. We can drop that in there. Any last questions, Bree? Yeah. Joey, what was what was your to... actual yeah. favorite season to record? Like the best season ever of the show? Ooh. I would say season one because we didn't know what was going to happen, okay. where it was going to happen. We didn't know the name or the concept <laughs> of the show. So mm. we had free range to do whatever. Production didn't give a fuck about mm. us. They were like, you want Duncan? You can walk the streets without like having to we're be- We even getting paid? Yeah, we didn't have so many rules. No pay. No, we you get like Well, we get bucks. $200 a week at we the short store. We really worked there. That's like, crazy. So I was like, oh my God, I have $200 for the weekend? Yeah. And it was- Insane shots, to me. Yeah. yeah. Because I, anytime I would go to a bar, I only had like twenty dollars to my name, and then mm -hmm. I hoped like I would find a guy to like buy me shit. Yeah. Okay. So having two hundred dollars in my pocket for the weekend Big was score. freaking amazing. Yeah. Now so. look at you guys. Yeah. It's look beautiful. at us. Look at us. <laughs> we now. Did. barely yeah. surviving, but yes, look yeah. at us. <laughs> it's always I always wonder that interesting mix with reality shows like the 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 success depends on the casting, which was perfect. You know, like. If you're doling out the success of the show, like in pies, the concept of the show, the casting director, you guys, all of it. So it's like an interesting, like if something's off, the show doesn't, you know, take off. It's really yeah. right place, right people, right time, all of it. Yeah. It's crazy. Perfect concoction. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, I appreciate you guys coming on. Everybody check out uh, Family Vacation. Um, it was nice talking to you guys. Congrats yeah, too. On all success. Yeah. Thanks, right. See you guys. Yeah, thanks Bye. for coming on. Bye. Bye. Thank you. That was fun. Do we get free canes now? Oh, yeah. It's coming in. All right. Who's ready? No. Who's ready, yeah? For the first time ever, the fam is fist pumping their way across the USA. On Jersey, January 26th. They're traveling shore to shining shore. Show, show, guys. From dancing through Hollywood. We are backstage here at Dance with the Stars. Hey, there he is. To cornholing in South Carolina. Guess what? BDS is a corn star. Get your stack, get the hole. Where am I? Getting wild in wine country. <laughs> We're definitely getting kicked out of this place. And it all leads up to a big trip to the Big Easy. Hello, Bourbon Street. Back like they ain't ever seen Guidos before. But even during the biggest family vacation ever, you like him. Just say it. You like Vinny. The fam is getting bigger. There. Where are we going? Jersey Shore Family Vacation. New season premieres Jersey, January 26th at 8. Watch on MTV.